I'm Angela V. Shelton. And I'm our very best friend, Frances Callier. And we are Frangela. And welcome to another investigative report. Frangela's Idiot of the Week. Week, 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 week. You give us the dumb, we mock it, and then we crown at the end of the week the dumbest of the dumb, the stupidest of the stupid. Yes. So let's go because we got some good stories. Good here. one. This came from another another hit squad, mm-hmm. elite anti dumb hit squad, Corporal Dennis H, Private Paul the Fifth, uh, and um, or is that that's yeah, Paul V. Paul V. Um, four, and four star General Damselfly. Mm-hmm. Women detained for shoplifting from Walmart. Yes, and she cooks meth in the holding room. St. Louis, Missouri. <laughs> Apparently, a St. Louis County Walmart was evacuated after a woman who they detained for shoplifting, so they put her in the little room yeah. while they waited for the police to come. So while she was in there, she thought she'd multitask and make some meth. <laughs> while in being detained. You're in the whole... You're in a room waiting for the police to come get you. Well, who are going to search you. Yes. This is... This is worse than just making the meth at the uh, Walmart, Walmart, which we've had plenty right, of stories about. In the aisle about. or in the bathroom. She's apparently the new, this new soda bottle meth. Yes, thing, yes, one batch. It is, but this is what I don't understand. If you watch Breaking Bad, this seems a lot harder on Breaking Bad. Yeah. And I guess well, that's why his, his meth is so well, good. Well, right, because there are they're no highs and birds. <laughs> That's what I can tell you. She's so, you're about, this is what I understand, because you know the police are coming for you. <laughs> yes. So you're like, oh. I better get on this mess. Yeah, get get this mess done done. before the cops get here. So I'll be ready for my mess. I mean, literally, so they had to get, you know, because the mess is known to explode, which is why you're not supposed to keep it in your pants. Hello? That we've done a few weeks ago. Or in your purse in a soda bottle. I don't put soda bottles with soda in my purse because they open and shit. What is wrong with this country, Angela? I'm going to tell you something. What's wrong with this country? I'm not saying that there weren't dumb people before. But um, the meth thing? Yeah. We're gonna, I mean, we would, I believe that at this point, mm-hmm. we should be able to testify before the Senate we about should. meth. Because, we should. Because I, don't, I think people don't understand. They see some junkies and whatever, they yeah. think whatever, but they don't understand just how bad it is and how much of our police officer's time is being taken up with, with people going, kiss it! I know. And shaking up meth when they're going to be arrested. I know. You know what? This and the zombie nation, the bath salts, and I, I can't take it anymore. I really can't. I, I don't know what to do except cover myself with something that's like that stuff so you don't bite your nails. <laughs> <laughs> but the, you know, the no bite? Yeah. Just cover yourself with it whenever you're in the house. Yeah, so they go, oh, <laughs> I don't like you. don't taste good. Yeah. Next up, this is from Captain El Haitiano. Yes. Oh, I like this story. Well, this is, it, yeah, the picture, his headshot, headshot yeah. his mugshot's interesting. Yeah. Casino robbery suspect. Okay, so a Connecticut man is accused of robbing an 81- Yeah, 81 year old woman outside a casino at knife point, okay? He says he was sleepwalking and has no memory of the alleged incident. Now, I'm gonna go with, do you need the knife of the 81 year old? <laughs> Number one. No, no, they are wily, girl. I, you, know, you know what, they have been jumping off. They, they have been jumping off. They, they, they run trust. people over with golf carts. <laughs> I've seen they hit people with their canes. <laughs> that's true. They may be packing some of them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. But it does seem a little excessive to me. Yeah. But anyway, he, um, this, so he, he attacks this way when he gets him, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, and his excuses. But that he was asleep and he was sleepwalking, but apparently he confessed to the police when he was at the jail. Mm-hmm. He said he just wanted some money and some rest. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to do with this one, mm-hmm. Francis, because I don't believe that you can. I mean, I, I don't think there are people who sleepwalk and eat and sleepwalk right. and never. And his family says that when he was a kid, he had some sleepwalking issues. But I don't, I, I doubt they involved armed robbery. You know what? That seems like a fairly complex interaction Absolutely. to have while sleepwalking. And driving. <laughs> and driving. Okay, <laughs> like, let me tell you something. Most people, like, I sleepwalked a little bit as a kid. My kids sleep, <clears throat> sleepwalks a little bit. Most people grow out of it. And so and she doesn't really accomplish um, anything. No, right? no. I had a friend uh, that I, a uh, roommate that sleepwalked. And what would happen is, I would just find her like in her closet. Right. Like doing this. Yeah. Like she thought she was folding stuff. But not like get in the car, go to the car, no. get some knife, get a knife, pull somebody up, have a have a logical conversation. No. Not like that. Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. I gotta say, the guy who tied himself naked to the tree trust sleep is not a good excuse, people. No. no. I was sleepwalking. I can't be mind. yeah, I can't be you know what the good thing about sleep is? There's very little you can do wrong during it. That's right. Lies. Next up, this is from Four Star General Damselfly. Thank mm-hmm. you. <laughs> you have to. Okay, this one. You gotta find. You gotta Roddy, find this. You have to put Paul. You have to put the picture up. Okay. You have to. It is absolutely necessary. Okay. Okay. Lowell Davis. Okay, is a woman. She was. This is also Connecticut. What's jumping off Connecticut? I'm telling you. I now think that people are 
being forced out of Florida and they're moving. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're going, migrating. They're migrating to other places. Okay. All right. So she, her name Lowell Davis, tried to steal a wig from the sassy beauty supply <laughs> shop. Okay. When the owner John Lee, okay, and his seventy-year-old father, which is I say is badass. Ran after her, all right? Lee told oh, you police. Know that, you know those Koreans, they're not going to lose none of them mm-hmm. from their hair no, supply no, no, store. They, no. They, no, no, they're going to. They're serious mm-hmm. about that. They're serious. Okay, Lee told the police that the Davis then punched them both in their, both in their bam, faces. Bam, <laughs> Bit Lee's arm so hard she tore the flesh off, and okay? spit the flesh out of like, <laughs> pow! Okay, but let me tell you something. You have got to see this woman's face and her hair. She needed she that needed wig. She needed that wig so badly. She needed that wig. I think no. they should have given it to her. They should have given it. If I would at least, I might charge them with a crime. Yes. So I'm like, this bitch needs that. And we all in the community who have to look at her, we need her to have that, that wig. wig. Is she mad? Because she mad would you be mad? She got some kind of, I don't even know if it's a mohawk. No, I think that's just like a wisp of, of hair. I think all this, because when I looked at the picture, all that is just, there's no hair there. Also, this looks like a hospital robe. It is. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. She should be tied up. I'm going to tell you something. From my, It's a general <laughs> rule. I'm not a small business owner, but if I was, if somebody walks into my store with, in a hospital room, I'm calling, I'm pressing the panic button before yes. they say anything. Also, the man said, Lee said, the length of a full, a full block. She just kept hitting me and smacking me in the back of my head. Feeling she kicked sure. me a few times in my back. This bitch was serious about getting that wig. She, she needs it. it. She, she needs it so it. badly. She needed that wig. She needed, that wig. You you know what? What? She needed to go into a, a wig shop that had like maybe somebody, like maybe a woman or yes. somebody who could be like, I know I can give you something. Yes. Something you can pay me a little at a time. We need to have a discussion about what's expected of women in this culture. Because... <laughs> You think this is a feminist kind this of issue? A femi- this is a feminist I issue. I stand. I stand. Now you're not allowed to punch people in the face. Right. Also, you don't don't pursue a, a shoplifter. Yeah. Call the police. Yeah. It's this. You, you're not the police. You're going to get hurt. This person's a criminal. So that's stupid. Never pursue these people. Um. But but the reality is, she really wouldn't have been so hard. Just let the bitch have a little bit of a wig. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean she got like some loose, some like loose hair around there. Some, <laughs> some, 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 some bangs. Some squirrel well, bangs. Some bangs. <laughs> I think it's some bangs. I mean, when you see this, she'll be like, anything, anything, anything. even a hat. You know what? I was going to say a hat. Give her a scarf. Those oh, have to be cheaper. Oh, that would have been nice. A scarf. A scarf. Anything. She, anything. You know, because I don't know what happened to her. She's like, I can't take one more. You know what? <laughs> I would have taken a purse and put it over her head. She would look better with anything. Uh, anything. She could, could staple a dog to her head. <laughs> Anything. Cats. <laughs> Although I'm against animal cruelty. Uh, me too, me too. Uh, but stay kittens, tuned. kittens on your head is uh, funny too. Yeah. <laughs> and it, would, it would distract you. It would. It, it would, would absolutely. From this ugly hair. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Oh. Yeah, that's the other problem. It's not like the hair is the only <laughs> issue. <laughs> yeah, know? they need to give us some wet and wild this, on the this way. Is, <laughs> this is tore up from the floor up. You know what I'm saying? This is. That ugly stick was like, oh, you're too ugly. Bam! <laughs> it's like fugly. Woo! All right, I'm Frances Callie. This is my best friend, Angela I'm sorry, V. Shelton. Shelton. Please don't make my hair fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned all week for more oh. for Angela's 